اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ دس از ایور گرین اسلامک سینٹر اینڈ ان دا تراوی ٹو نائٹ انشاء اللہ العزیز وی ول کمپلیٹ سورہ الاحزاب اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ ول بی سورہ سبا سورہ فاتر اینڈ اے پورشن آف سورہ یاسین The second part of the Surah Al-Ahzab, the first part was mostly about the battle of trenches. And in the second part, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding the women, including the, the women and the wives of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about a number of things, including the life of modesty. So we will inshallah learn some of these ayats. Uh, in uh, ayat number 28 of surah al ahzab allah subhanahu wa taala is addressing prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and is commanding him to communicate certain things to his wives allah subhanahu wa taala says bismillahir rahmanir rahim ya ayyuhan nabiyyu o the prophet qul li azwajika say or tell your wives in kuntunna turidna alhayat ad-dunya if you desire the worldly life wa zinataha and its beautification its glory its worldly matters <clears throat> if that is what you want fa ta'alaina come to me o matte kunna i will give you these things which you are after if you are after wa usarrih kunna sarahan jamila and while i will send you away with a kind sending which means i'll separate you i'll give you worldly material things if that is what your goal is of this life then i will give you i'll provide you those things but then it will be a separation <clears throat> but on the other hand wa in kuntunna turidna allah wa rasulahu <clears throat> and if you desire if you wish the allah allah subhanahu wa taala and his messenger wad dar al akhirata and the abode of the hereafter allah subhanahu wa taala says fa inna allah a'adda lil muhsinati min kunna ajran azima then indeed allah subhanahu wa taala promises to the righteous women among you a great reward ajran azima allah subhanahu wa taala further addressing the wives of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya nisa an nabi o oh, the wives here are so directly addressed to the wives ya nisa an nabi o oh, the wives of the prophet may yaati min kunna bi fahishatin mubayyin mubayyinati If any of you comes with a clear indecency act of indecency yuda af lahal azab u dafan then the punishment for you will be twice as much as the punishment for the regular women wa kana zalika allah yasira and this is very easy upon allah subhanahu wa taala but on the other hand wa may yaqnut min kwa min kunna lillahi wa rasulihi If you submit yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger wa ta'mal salihan and you do the righteous deeds this is again continuing addressing the wives of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says nu'tiha ajraha marratain we will reward you twice as much wa atadna laha rizqan karima and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for her or for them a very kind very noble provision <clears throat> allah says further that how should you live in your houses while you are married to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya nisa an nabi o the wives of the prophet lastunna ka ahadim min an nisa you are not like any other women not like common women in it taqaytunna if you fear if you live the life of consciousness live the life of consciousness then 
Fala takhdana bil qawli. So do not be very polite and attractive when you talk to other people, other men. Fayatma allazi fi qalbihi maradun. A person is who whose heart is some sort of sickness. He will be attracted towards you if you are very nicely and politely and lovingly talking to the person who is not related, related to you. Allah says, وَقُلْنَا قَوْلًا مَعْرُوفًا When you speak, speak the conventional way. Further, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding the wives of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَقَرْنَا فِي بُيُوتِكُنَّا And live in your houses, stay in your houses. وَلَا تَبَرَّجْنَا تَبَرُّجَ الْجَاهِلِيَّةَ الْأُولَى Do not show off the way it used to be in the day of ignorance, of earlier days. Go out and show your beauties and your charm and all those things. وَأَقِمْنَا الصَّلَاةَ And establish the prayer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanding the wives of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَآتِينَ الزَّكَاةَ And give the charity. وَآتِعْنَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ And obey and follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger. إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ Indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants لِيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمُ الرِّجْسَ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ O people, O women of the house, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants that He should take away any uncleanliness from the house of the Prophet. Ahl al-Bayt, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling the wives of the Prophet sallallahu the residents of the house of the Prophet. وَيُتَحْهِرَكُمْ تَتْهِيرًا And he may purify all of you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is further commanding the wives. وَذْكُرْنَ مَا يُتْلَى فِي بُيُوتِكُنَّ And remember and mention what is recited in the houses of the Prophet, in your houses. مِنْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ From the verses of the ayat which is the Qur'an وَالْحِكْمَةَ And the wisdom إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ لَتِيفًا خَبِيرًا Indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is latif and khabir. He knows everything. <coughs> then we continue to um, ayat number 39. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first is addressing the believers, those who have believed in Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alladheena yuballighoona risalati Allahi. Those are the people who convey the messages that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to them. Wayakshawnahu. And they fear him. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wala yakshawna ahadan illa Allah. And they do not fear anyone other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ حَسِيبًا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient for them. <clears throat> Allah further says, مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحَدٍ رِجَالِكُمْ Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is not the father of any of, your man, of you men. وَلَاكِرْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ But he is a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ And he is at the end and seal of the prophecies, of the prophets. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمًا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is knowledgeable of everything. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا سْكُرُوا اللَّهَ ذِكْرًا كَسِيرًا O those of you who have believed, remember Make mention in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala plenty. وَسَبِّهُوهُ بُكْرَةً وَعَسِيلًا And glorify Him. Tasbih, do the tasbih of Allah in the morning hours and the evening hours. هُوَ <coughs> اللَّذِي He it is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يُسَلِّ عَلَيْكُمْ Sends the greetings upon you, upon the believers. وَمَلَائِكَتُهُ And his angels also send the greetings upon the believers. لِيُخُرِجَكُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ So he may bring you out from the darknesses into the light. وَكَانَ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَحِيمًا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very kind to the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this is in the worldly life. But on the day of judgment, تَحَيَّتُهُمْ يَوْمَا يَلْقَوْنَهُ سَلَامٌ When 
they will meet allah subhanahu wa taala on the day of judgment they will be greeted by the salam wa adda lahum ajran karima and allah subhanahu wa taala has prepared for them a very noble reward allah subhanahu wa taala says ya ayyuhan nabi now allah is addressing the prophet himself inna arsalna ka shahidan wa mubashshiran wa nazira three qualities three attributes of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam are being mentioned we have sent you o prophet as a witness upon against the people a mubashshir a one who gives the good tidings wa nazira and the one who gives the warning wa da'iyan ila allah and a caller towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi iznihi by his permission wa sirajam munira that's another title of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam a lamp which is very bright then we will continue in on ayat number 56 where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very famous ayat is addressing in allah wa malaikatahu indeed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his angels yusalluna ala nabi send the greetings and the salam upon the prophet then allah is commanding the, the followers the believers ya ayyuhal ladina amanu o those of you who have believed sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima send the greeting upon the prophet and send the salam upon the prophet and in response to this command of allah subhanahu wa taala we recite allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa maulana muhammadin wa ala ali sayyidina wa maulana muhammadin wa barik wa sallim then uh, we will go to one other ayat of surah al ahzab ayat number 71 <clears throat> this is a very famous ayat this is also recited in the khutbah of uh, juma Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya ayyuhal ladina amanu taqullah o those of you who have believed fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa qulu qawlan sadida when you speak when you talk be upright be straight forward do not be ambiguous in your conversation otherwise it will create misunderstanding so your word your speech should be straight forward without any issues confusion Allah says if you do that here is only the speech of a person is being talked about a word coming out of the person's mouth is being talked about if you are straight forward in your conversation Allah says yuslih lakum ma'amalakum as a reward of that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reform your deeds wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum and he will forgive you your sins وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ سُو هُو ایور اوبیز اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی and his messenger فَقَدْ فَازَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا he indeed he has achieved a very great success in this life and the hereafter <coughs> that brings us to the end of surah al-ahzab <coughs> the next surah that we will recite tonight is surah al-saba Surah starts with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillah alladhi all the hamd is for Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala he is the one lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi ard belongs to him whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is on the earth walahu alhamdu fil akhirah and all the hamd all the praise in the hereafter belongs to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala وَهُوَ الْحَكِيمُ الْخَبِيرُ He is wise, he is knowledgeable about everything. يَعْلَمُ He knows مَا يَلِجُ فِي الْأَرْضِ What enters into the earth. وَمَا يَخْرُجُ مِنْهَا And what comes out of the earth. وَمَا يُنَزِّلُ وَمَا يَنزِلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ And what comes down from the sky. وَمَا يَعْرُجُ فِيهَا And what climbs up into the sky. وَهُوَ الرَّحِيمُ الْغَفُورِ He is merciful, he is forgiving. Then in this Surah Sabah, there is a story about Dawood alayhi salam and Suleyman alayhi salam. Briefly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in ayat number 10, 
ولقد آتينا داوود منا فضلا دا كينج ديفيد هي واز ذا پرسن الله سيز وي هاد گيفن هيم فيور فروم اس يا جبال اوب معه او ذا ماونتينز دو تسبيح ود هيم وين داوود عليه السلام داز ذا تسبيح اوف الله سبحانه وتعالى Allah commanded the mountains that glorify with him what tayri and also the birds would glorify and do the tasbih with him wa alanna lahul hadid Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we said that we had made the iron soft in the hands of Daud he could mold them and make anything then his son suleiman became the king after him allah subhanahu wa taala bestowed a number of favors upon suleiman allah subhanahu wa taala says wali suleiman riha ghudubuha shahrun the winds would blow by the command of suleiman alaihi salam and their journey of one day will be like the journey of a month wa rawahu ha shahrun and the evening journey will be like the journey of a month wa asalna lahu ayn al qitri and we had made flow the copper molten copper is coming out of the earth for him and wa min al jinni may ya'malu and there were jinns who used to work for him and make many many things for him <coughs> allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says falamma qadaina alayhi al mauta when the death arrived sulaiman alayhi salam he was standing leaning against his staff and he was watching and commanding the jinns who were building certain things for him his death came at that moment and he did not fall down the position he was standing he stood remain stood in in that position and the jinns thought that he was watching them so they continued working until the termite ate his um, staff and he fell down So Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala is mentioning that falamma qadaina alayhi al-mauta when we had decreed the death upon him ma dallahum ala mautihi nothing informed anyone about his death illa dabbatul ardi except a little insect of the earth taakulu min sata he, he was eating the staff the termite and Allah says falamma kharra then he fell down then tabayyanatil jinnu then jinns found out that he was no more alive and they ran away and and stopped working for him <clears throat> then in this sura there is there are couple ayats about the name of the sura is saba and there are couple ayats about uh, the kingdom of sheba which is saba allah subhanahu wa taala had bestowed lot of favors and made this the city or this town very rich with the plenty of favors and bounties of allah subhanahu wa taala but the people were ungrateful and they started complaining about certain things so allah says what happened and the ayat number 15 allah says laqad kana li sabain fi maskanihim ayatun ayatun in the houses in the residences of the saba there is a sign jannatani ayn yamini there were two gardens on the right hand side wa shimali on the left hand side which used to bring the plenty of fruits and everything <clears throat> allah says he commanded kulu mir rizq rabbikum eat whatever allah has your lord has provided you washkuru lahu but make sure you are thankful to him baldatun baldatun tayyibatun yes, the city is very pure and great wa rabbun ghafur and your lord is forgiving so allah subhanahu wa taala says fa aradu they turned away from the mercy of and the thanks of allah subhanahu wa taala fa arsalna alaihim sail al arami so there was a dam of water which broke and everything was flooded every all the gardens were destroyed as a punishment Allah says wa baddalnahum bi jannataihim jannataini we replaced those two gardens by two other gardens and there was nothing but the fruit that was bitter and some lot trees dalika jazainahum Allah says this is the reward this is the punishment 
बिमा कफर ऊ बिकॉज दे है डन कुफर विद अल्लाह सुबहान एंड अल्लाह से हल नुजा इल कफूर एंड दैट्स हाउ वी पे दोज हु आर अनग्रेटफुल सो दीज आर सम वर्सेज अबाउट द सबा देन वी विल कंटिन्यू एंड देन अल्लाह सुबहान वाली इन दिस सूर सबा इन आयत नंबर नाइन्टी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव इज एड्रेसिंग प्रॉफिट सल्लाम when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in makkah presenting the quran and the message they were constantly rejecting so allah subhanahu wa taala told prophet sallam say something to them and challenge this way qul inna ma sayo prophet only aizukum i want to give a advice to you bi wahidatin just one advice an taqumu lillahi masna wa furada stand up one at a time or two at a time because you are in when you are in a group if someone turns turns towards allah subhanahu wa taala the other people make joke of him and take him back to the wrong way allah says stand up one at a time or two at a time thumma tatafakkaru then ponder think about ma bi sahibikum min jinna this companion of you this prophet of you does he have any magic thing in him is someone done some kind of be wished upon him or he is a crazy or anything and you will find that he is not except he is a nazir a warner to you <clears throat> allah says further tell these people that i am spending all my time inviting you towards allah subhanahu wa taala qul ma sa'altukum min ajrin say i am not asking you to give me any payment for my service <coughs> if i ask fa huwa lakum then you keep it in ajriya illa ala allah my payment why my reward is not but with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa huwa ala kulli shay'in shaheed he is the witness upon all those things then this was the end of surah saba then tonight we will go to the next surah surah fatir fatir is a creator the meaning of fatara or fatir is to create or to, uh, to be a creator the only difference is that khaliq is the one who creates and recreates but fatir is a creator who creates the very first time without having any example in front of him completely new innovation of the creation allah subhanahu wa taala is one of these asmaul husna is al fatir the surah starts with bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillahi fatir is samawati wal ard all the praise is for allah subhanahu wa taala who is the creator of the heavens and the earth jaal al malaikati he makes the he creates the angels rusulan as the messengers uli ajnahatin masna wa sulasa wa ruba and allah subhanahu wa taala has given these angels two or three or four wings yazidu fil khalq ma yasha he increases in the creation for whom so ever he wills <coughs> inna allah ala kulli shay'in qadir indeed allah subhanahu wa taala has qudrat and power over everything allah subhanahu wa taala says ma yaft मायफ्तासी मिर रहमतिन फला मुम सिका लहा इफ अल्लाह सुबहान वाली डिसाइड्स टू स्टॉप हिज रहमा अपॉन सम वन देर इज नो वन हु कैन ब्रिंग इट बैक एंड और ओपन इट व मा युम सिको एंड इफ ही स्टॉप वट एवर फला मुर सिला लहू मिम बाद ही देर इज नो वन हु कैन स्टार्ट अगेन बींग दहमा ऑफ अल्लाह सुबहान वाली Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya ayyuhan nas uzkuru ni'matallah o the people all the mankind remember the mercy the rahma the blessing the bounties of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala alaykum upon you hal min khaliqin ghairullah is there any other creation or creator other than Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala yarzuqukum min as-sama'i wal ard who would give you the provision from the heaven and from the earth la ilaha illahu there is no one except him allah subhanahu wa taala again these two words are which, which are next allah subhanahu wa taala 
many 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 times in the Quran is mentioning the word is fa'anna tu fakun. After presenting a logical statement, Allah says, if you can't even understand this logic, where are you going? What are you doing? It's a very statement. Fa'anna yu fakun. Where are you going? What are you doing? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, <coughs> Ya Yohannas, again addressing all the mankind, Inna wa'adallahi haqqun, the promise of Allah is true. Fala taghurrannakumul hayatu dunya, this worldly life, which is temporary life, which is short life, which is like a play and amusement, Allah says, make sure this life does not deceive you. It should not put you in some kind of deception. Wala yaghurrannakum billahi al-gharur and make sure the biggest deceiver who is shaitan does not deceive you about your worldly life. Allah says, listen carefully, inna shaitana lakum adubun. Indeed, shaitan is a very, very clear open enemy to you. Fattakhizuhu adub. So you also take him as your enemy, not as your friend. Innama yadu his bahu. He calls his party, his group. Liyakunu min ashab is sair. So you become among the people of the fire in the hereafter. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is drawing the attention of the reader of the Quran about very unique phenomena. Two oceans, many, many people have observed that Pacific and Atlantic Ocean, at some point they are come together. They are still waters, both of them, but it looks like the water does not go between one or the other one. They stay on the side. The liquid water of Atlantic and Pacific stay in their positions and do doesn't mix up. Allah says here, Wama yastawil bahrani, and Allah says the two oceans are not same. Hada azbun furatun. This particular one is sweet. Sa'igun sharabun, palatable, tasty to drink. Wahaza milhun ujajun, and this other one is the bitter and salty. But think about one thing. Wamin kullin, from each of these, ta kuluna lahman tariya, when you catch the fish from both of them, any two waters, salty water or sweet water or lake or anything, you catch the fish. Fish has the same and good taste regardless if the fish is, is growing up in the salty water or sweet water. And you take out the ornaments that you wear. Allah says, And you see the ships that are sailing in the waters. So you may look for the fadl of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ And you may be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, يُولِجُ اللَّيْلَ فِي النَّهَارِ He makes the night enter into the day. Slowly night turns into the day. وَيُولِجُ النَّهَارَ فِي اللَّيْلَ And the other way around that he makes the day enter in the night. وَسَخَّرَ الشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرَ And he has subjected the shams, the sun and the moon. Each of them are going in their appointed term and orbit. This is your Lord who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lahul mulko, the dominion belongs to him. Walladina tad'una min dunihi. Those people who call others, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving the example. Mayam likuna min qitmir. They don't even have the authority of a qitmir. What is qitmir? You take a date, open it, and its pit will come out. Then on the pit, there is a little membrane there on that. Jilly, little thing. That's called qitmir. These other deities that people worship don't even have the authority to create that little unimportant thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya yuhannasu antumul fuqara. O the mankind, all of you are poor, faqir. Ilallahi, 
towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wallahu huwal ghaniyul hamid Allah is the rich one Allah does not need anyone he is praiseworthy in yasha yuzhibkum if he decides he will take all of you away all of you will be perished wa yaati bi khalqin jadid and he can bring a new creation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further continues talking about the tawheed, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his kudrat, his power, his authority, because the people in the, in the area where Quran is being revealed are worshipping the idols who, who have no value, no authority, no power. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving one example which uh, um, some of you might have seen those um, beautiful pictures in the area of China where the mountains one after another have multiple colors in them the tracks are red green and blue and beautiful allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning that in the quran maybe at that time some people had not seen allah says alam tara anna allah aram tara anna allah anzala min as samai ayat number 28 have you not seen that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down Minas samai ma'an from the sky the water fa akhrajna bihi thamaratin mukhtalifan alwanuha then from the same earth same ground he has brought out the fruits which have different colors wa minal jibali judadun and in the mountains there are tracks bai bidun white color wa humrun and red color mukhtalifun alwanuha and there are different colors in them wa gharabi ba sud and there are dark black colors in them allah says same thing he has placed in among the mankind wa minan nasi wa dawabi wal anami three things is mentioning the people the other animals in the in the forest and the cattle Allah says mukhtalifun alwanuhu they all have different colors Allah says kadalika that is how Allah's decision was inna ma yakhsha Allah min ibadihi al ulama only those people of servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who have the knowledge who ponder they are the one who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <clears throat> then so this this will bring us to the end of surah fatir after that tonight we will recite a uh, first page and a half of surah yasin so inshallah i will translate some ayats of the surah yasin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala auz billahi minash shaitan rajim yasin wal quran al hakim <coughs> wal quran al hakim allah says by the quran which is wise this wow in the beginning is called wow al qasamia when wow is placed before a noun it becomes the qasam of that noun for example when arabs talk they say wallahi they put wow in the beginning of allah and put the word allah after that so wallahi becomes the qasam of allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches the mankind that if you are going to swear swear by the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not use any other noun any other word for swearing or for taking the oath only allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can swear by anything by his creation but mankind some of people out of ignorance they say quran ki qasam aur ma ki qasam and this is those all wrong things we should not do we should swear only by the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <clears throat> So Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says inna kala minal mursalin o prophet you are among those who have been sent ala siratim mustaqim you are upon the straight path tanzilul azizir rahim this has been revealed this has been sent down by the al aziz by the one who has the power and the authority and ar rahim the one who is merciful the word tanzil <clears throat> is being used here allah says tanzil al aziz ar rahim tanzil is means coming down this word is used for the quran when the quran is being sent down stage by stage piece by piece then the word nazzala or tanzil is used 
So the Quran was revealed in 23 years, piece by piece, and that's the Tanzil ul Quran. When uh, Quran, the other surahs, some ayats talk about Anzala, that's a different word. That means information is being given that Quran's revelation started happening in the month of Ramadan, in the night of the power shab -e qadr That is not a complete revelation of the Quran. That is an information that that is when Quran was given. But actual Quran came down in 23 years, piece by piece by piece. And everywhere where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that kind of revelation to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa the word Tanzil is used. So you may warn the people whose forefathers were not given warning. Fahum ghafilun, they are ignorant, they are in ignorance and unaware. Allah says, Lakal Hakkal Kalu Allah Sarihim Fahum La Yuminun, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would come true upon most of them, which is La Yuminun, they are not going to believe. So inshallah we will stop here. So as I mentioned tonight we will complete Surah Al Azab tonight. After that will be Surah Sabah and then Surah Fatir and then first couple pages of, of Surah Yasin. This whole thing makes one juz of the Quran. So the Surah Yasin starts in the juz 30, so juz 22nd will be completed tonight from the beginning to the end and it consists of these four surahs. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand the Quran and act upon it. Sadaq Allah